Hey guys, today we are going to be getting started with block-based programming here using Blockly and Scratch. I wanted to first show you guys how you would create an account in Scratch and then some of the basics, what we're gonna go through, um, what the user interface looks like, and just overall getting started. So if you don't already have a Scratch account, if you can go up here in the top right corner and click on Join Scratch. When you click it, it's gonna ask you to create a username, create a password, it's eventually gonna have you enter your email address and your date of birth and all that. Please go through and do that. Once you do, it's gonna go ahead and log you in. If you already have a Scratch account, you can just click Sign In, enter your username and password. If you don't remember your username or password, there is an option or to email you um, to reset your password. Once you've done that, once you've logged in, I want you to go ahead in the top left corner and click on Create. And we're just gonna go through today and navigate exactly what you'll see in your development environment when programming. So the first time you come in, it might pop up here with a few tutorials that you could do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and close and click the X um, we're not going to go through those tutorials right now. If you ever wanted to go through those tutorials on your own, you can click up here in the top left corner where it says tutorials. The first thing I want to go through is where you would find everything and the way that things are laid out here. Um, on your left are all of your blocks. I guess we want to section it into or split it into three sections. You have the first section, second, and third, left, center, middle where on the left you're going to find all of your blocks that you're going to use for programming and they're categorized by color. So if you were to scroll down, you have blue, pink, purple, uh, orange, yellow, green, and so on. If you wanted to quickly go through to each group, you click on events and all the yellow blocks pop up. We're not going to go through all these blocks right now. The main thing that we want to go through today is where you would find those blocks. They're all organized in different categories on the left and you could scroll through. Okay, in the middle is where you would actually drag those blocks and be able to use them. So if you were to drag uh, one of the blocks into the middle, this is what actually would be coded and what we would actually use uh, in your program. We're not going to drag anything in there right now. If you wanted to ever delete a block, you could just drag it back over to where it came from into this category on the left. Then you look over towards the right. On the right, you're going to see what the user would actually see, what the game would look like, what the story that you're making would look like, the program. This is everything that you're going to see over here. And below it are the object's properties. An object in Scratch is called a sprite. So you're gonna find properties, all the different lists of objects and properties, and then also the stage, the backdrops that you would create as well. And that can all be found on the right side. So that is the main thing that I wanted to go through today, just being able to separate the left side, the middle and the right, and know where each one is. Um, in the next video, we are going to be talking about the different properties within each sprite, being able to access those properties here on the right and edit them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.